good day lazy trader mike once again for another forex video and today i'm going to um teach you on how to install a metatrader for simulator software from fxblue.com all right so you go to fxblue.com the link is there on the description box and you need to register an account for you to have access to their services and of course the software downloads now um, when you are on the home page you click on apps and then you go to trader tools and then you go to um, FX blue trading simulator for MT4 since I've already key in my oh um, it sort of forgot you click on this one free download and then it will have a dialog box that says you must register then you ha have something like this since I'm already already registered on this website you can just click on login then I can um, just close this dialog box and I will have access to the download now um, you can just click on this free download and once you've done downloading that it will show up as a zip file or you've just downloaded the zip file um, some 1.38 MB zip file and then you unzip that and th this will be the content and then this will be uh, there will be an an exe file here and then you click on this one click on the exe file and click yes and then you click on I agree to some license agreement and then you just select um, select all click on select all so um, you can just install it across all the mt4 that is on your computer and then click on install all right um you will encounter this error if somehow you already have the um the software installed on an instance of metatrader that is active so what you need to do is um for the purpose of this um demonstration I have an MT4 here which is open you just need to close the current MetaTrader that you have on your screen so that would be it and you can just um, try that again click on I agree select all alright software has been successfully installed okay let's um let's reopen that meta trader that would be the the pepper stone mt4 all right we are now on the the meta or one of the the mt4 that is on my computer and to see the strategy tester if it is not already on your toolbars you click on view and then you select strategy tester then it's already here now um, if you first open strategy tester make sure you um, you adjust the size of the window enough to see the slider here because this one will control the speed of the, the simulation and I mostly use control points not the not the tick by tick because I'm I'm more of a long-term trader but um, it's up to you actually now if you're um, on strategy tester um you load the, the fx blue here select fx blue and then make sure you are on the expert advisor because if you're going to be um using indicators you can also test them but you're not going to be able to enjoy the benefit of placing orders on your um on your current simulation or back testing so let's um just try to um simulate or back test euro us dollar on the daily and then let's um, adjust the, the screen size once again or the window and then let's select a date use date now um depending on the history of your meta trader or your chart let's um try to open the euro us dollar chart and then put this on daily and you can do a page up for you to see how far 
your history on this um, particular MT4 is now mine is um, way back May of 1989 so my date or the date that I'm gonna be choosing is um, from 1989 to today so this is okay 2014 January 1st to the present 2016 something like that and then you click click on start then there will be another window and then this one will have visual since this is the the window where the actually the the back testing will happen all right let's just wait for that to load now um the, if this is the the first time that you're gonna be running this this dialog box will ask you for your username and password that will be the same username and password that you registered with fxblue.com so if, um, and then um, before you begin of course you can just um, customize the charts <clears throat> let's just um, put in raw price and then maybe some support and resistance here things like that and then if you're gonna be um, simulating support and resistance or if you want to add an indicator you can do so as well let's just uh, say 200 moving average something like that when you click on the when you click on um, proceed with simulation and it will just do like a, like a market replay or simulating a live market you can do this on weekends or any time of the day that you're free. This is going to be good because um, forward testing actually takes time. But um, back testing is one way for you to be familiar with the strategy that you are going to use. Alright, um, um, this is uh, the daily chart. And if somehow the simulation is uh, way too slow for you, you can use the slider. We'll go like that and... You can just select uh, select the the speed, and then let's uh, just um. There are two ways that you can put in an order. You can put a sell, um, or you can put a market order, or you can put a pending order. You also have access to a calculator where you can click on this, and then you can just click on Control on your keyboard, and then you click here. There you have your um, calculator where you can put there the, the amount of risk that you want. Or you can just um, maybe you can do that as well on the trailing stop. You can do that as well on the profit taking or take profit. Alright and then you can adjust the the lot or the, the lot size. Let's just say we put in uh, a buy order. Alright, this is gonna be the, the buy order that you have and then when you want to adjust that, just grab the, the handle. That's gonna be the some sort of a, a gray box on the, the edge or the, the right edge. Just, just adjust that, adjust this. Of course, you're not gonna be able to adjust this and no more because this is a market order. Then if you want to uh, modify this one, you can look for the the handle or you can just simply click on any one of these. Just click on that just, um, and then you will see a dialog box where you can um, modify the, the take profit or the stop loss or you can just close the order. Let's just close that order you want to um, place a pending order let's just say I uh, want to um, order at the 50% of this um, bar right here um, this one this one is um, 1.38461 so I click on this yellow button and it will get me to a dialog box once again where I can select um, order types um, I want to um, buy limit on 
1.38500 say 1.38 And I can just select pips or lot sizes. 0 0.01. You can edit all of those. Then you can place the order. There's your order right here. Then if you want to adjust the, the parameter, since this is uh, this is a pending order, you can do so as well. And um, adjust that. And uh, adjust the, the take profit like that. All right. Um, actually, um, this is actually a really simple software, and you can just play around with this. And if you ever get to um, to maybe download a custom indicator, you can also backtest that here. But the the limitation of this is not since this is an expert advisor on its own. You will not be able to run another expert advisor on the the chart. But of course, you can um, backtest that another uh, that um, other expert advisor that um, that you want to backtest separately. Now, um, if we're gonna be uh, stopping this um, stopping this order, oh, well, looks like the the buy limit has been has been triggered. Let's just uh, select this. Yes, it has been triggered. So. Um, if you want to stop this, you can click on stop. And then uh, let's say you want to modify the the risk that you or the the amount of money that you want to um, back test or let's say $1000 or you can just do maybe $500 or you can put in a custom amount for $100. This you can uh, put in there your deposit currency click OK all right that's um that's actually just it um, I would urge you to play around with this and um, once again the the error that you might get is um, if somehow you go to a lower time frame chart I have uh, up until like 1989 on the daily chart but not that's not gonna be the same if I'm gonna be back testing this on the one minute chart or the the five minute chart because of the the number of bars that's gonna be loaded on my mt4 and if you want maximum number of bars to be loaded on your mt4 you can click on options click on options and just select their chart and then you can just um, put in there some maximum numbers 999 it will just um it will actually just auto adjust as to what the MetaTrader 4 can handle. Okay, so that's gonna be it. Um, just visit fxblue.com. That's gonna be on the the website below, or the the link is there below. And also check out uh, Trader's Way. The link is also there, and then you can install this and run it on the MetaTrader, so you can do some some back testing. Okay, and um, you have a great day, and good luck to you.